Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be reviewing the e.l.f. Modern Metals collection that was in collaboration with a few influencers, one of which is my girl, Kathleen Celeste. I don't even know her, but I just know her from Instagram and I feel like we're friends, but I've never seen her a day in my life. She's just wicked chill. So I got this collection in the mail and I'm so excited to try it out. I'm sitting in front of a huge window. If you're following me on Instagram, you know that I recently moved my studio into our guest room, so I flip-flopped, and I'm in front of this massive window, which is so great because it gives me natural lighting. However, Today, the sun is blaring through, so that's why you see right here, the sun is just loud. Anywho, hopefully that's not going to be a distraction for you, but if you want to see me try these products out and get a first impression and see what my final look comes out to be, then keep on watching. If you're not already, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Mina underscore Adibia, and otherwise, let's get started. Mm. Oh, I didn't realize I was, still, I was still recording. I just want to hydrate my throat, my throat, with this pure coconut water. I love coconut water. It's so delicious. This is not sponsored, although it should be. The last time that I sat down and recorded two YouTube videos, when I went to edit them, I realized my microphone was not plugged in. So God, please let this microphone be plugged in because if not, it is going to be such a fail. If I have to re-record it, it's not gonna be a first impression, it's gonna be a review and that's not what I want. Since the collection comes with an eyeshadow palette, a blush and a highlighter palette and two options for a lippy, I'm gonna do my foundation and all of that, highlight powder, whatever, and then come back. You know what I'm gonna use that I've been using lately is this Bare Minerals Bare Pro foundation in the color truffle. I like it. I wanted to talk about a few random things. One of which is why I don't take clients anymore. As you can see on my Instagram page, I just recently added this note where it's, ooh, I forgot to prime. Look at that. That's a problem. Urban Decay Oil Control Priming Spray. That does happen every now and then where I start my face after having forgotten to prime, but it's not the end of the world. Just do what I just did, prime and then keep on going. So I just recently added to my Instagram that I no longer take clients and some of you might be wondering, well, why? Well, I haven't been taking clients for years now. Every now and again, 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 I'll get a client, but my inbox does not blow up with client requests or appointment requests like it used to. And it might be because of what I've been speaking into the atmosphere, because you know what you speak happens. You like, you know that, right? I haven't been getting many emails, which is fine because, or like DMs, which is fine because I'm wicked busy. Before, years ago, I used to really be pushing it hard to be a freelance makeup artist, trying to get clients, doing specials, passing out business cards, whatever. I used to freelance at Mac. If you see one of my first videos that I put on here, I talk about that, but I don't do that anymore, clearly. I don't have the time. I'm a lot busier now. We have a three-year-old son, I'm married. I just don't have the time to be doing that. I don't have the childcare to be taking clients and then I don't want to have to be bothered with just like everything. Not to mention I work full time, although it might not look like it. I do. I do not do YouTube and, and, and Instagram full time. I'm not a social media content creator full time. This is a part time gig for me that I do because I love it and I feel like there's a purpose in why I'm doing it. I'm busy. And for that reason, I don't get a lot of requests. And even when I do, sometimes it's like during the day or someone's like, I have to be there at six. And it's like, well, I get off work at four. I don't get home till whatever time. So six is just not going to work for me. And I'm not even as interested in it as I used to. It's not a priority for me. Just point blank period. Just unwrapping a new uh, concealer. Ooh, hi. Just unwrapping a new concealer. This is LA Girl Toffee. Toffee. Ooh, it just looks so nice when it's new, huh? Let me put it on my face because I do want it to dry a little bit. I also have some clients outside that I consult with. In addition to that, I'm now in two different Bible studies. I mean, this is now, but I mean, before that, again, I just don't have the interest or the time anymore. <sighs> Another reason why... <laughs> I'm laughing because this is kind of annoying, but like, I understand. So another reason why I don't take clients is before when I did, it was so annoying to get messages inquiring about my services. And then you tell the person your rate and then they either want to bargain you down or it's crickets. Now I'm laughing because it was annoying to me, but then I understand, I understand like, thank the Lord, I do my own makeup. So I'm not going to go pay somebody buku money to do my face. I get it. I would not want to do that. That's why I learned how to do my own face. If I did not know how to do my face and I was not putting in the practice and I just needed my face done for a special occasion, well then I would need to pay someone to do my face. So my 
my thing is if you don't want to pay then learn how to do it so you don't have to pay someone a lot of money to do it when i first started doing makeup i would charge 50 dollars because i was starting off and that's what it costs at max so i'm like well let me not go too crazy well i've been doing makeup for almost 10 years now i'm not going to charge 50 dollars. i'm not going to go into how much i charge or charged because this is all past tense now but i'm just saying i charge what i you know what i felt i was due now every now and again i'll do someone's makeup but it's like probably once a year i mean like my sister got married in august y'all saw if you follow me on instagram i did her makeup i did my makeup i did the makeup for the maid of honor if it's something like that yeah i'll do it but i'm not like taking clients another thing too is that i like to take my time when i do my makeup and i always felt like i was under pressure doing makeup because an hour for some people is too long whereas i can do my face in an hour and a half and i'm, I'm fine with that because i'm used to it i like to take my time when i do my makeup and i used to hate having a rush on weddings you're like rushing and then the bridesmaids are late it's just so hectic and i don't like that i also don't like having to travel to someone's house i just grew out of it and i don't like having to explain why my price is my price i just don't i shouldn't have to i know how to do my own face so i have never had anyone do my makeup in my life and thank god because this day and age high school students are not gonna beat face so i get it people are trying to slay you got somewhere to go you want to look cute all of that i completely get it but i am a big proponent of learn how to do it yourself so that whenever you want to get it done you don't have to wait on anybody you don't have to pay anybody that's why i do my own hair thankfully i mean i'm i obviously you have to have a certain talent to do these things but i do also feel like you can learn this stuff i started doing makeup when i was in second year of grad school that was 2009 so i wasn't doing makeup in high school and when i first started doing my makeup it was hideous to me it was gross but it takes time and practice so my thing is if you don't want to be paying people to do your hair and to do your makeup because it costs a lot of money it sure does i do my own hair i have not gone to hair salon in over three years if you don't want to pay anybody to do your hair and to do your makeup then sis learn how to do it and save yourself the money i get sick to my stomach when someone is like oh i'm gonna get my braids done oh really how much they charge you 250 200 i'm like excuse me back at home in rhode island girl please you used to be able to get your hair done for like 75 65 dollars and i'm talking about like braids good braids too i would never i cannot imagine i just can't imagine it i cannot imagine it i get it when someone's like oh that's too much for me but it was just starting to be annoying when i was trying to make a living off of it and then getting so much resistance or someone being like well that's too much why is it so high why can't you lower it down this is what i have you know it was like okay listen this is my rate if you can't pay it i completely understand no hard feelings just find somebody else it wasn't like an argument i'm not like fighting with you it is what it is listen i understand but i also need you to understand that i've been doing this for so long and i've got the expertise that i'm not going to shortchange myself if i feel like i'm worth x amount then i'm worth x amount and that's just what it is if you want to find somebody else i have no hard feelings about that at all all and i mean it every now and again you mean for family close friends something like that fine but otherwise as far as like considering me a makeup artist no longer those days are over that door is closed now if you know me and have been following me for some time on instagram which is where i'm most active then you know that i like elf i like elf for a lot of their products because they're so cheap and so good now this is their foundation palette in the, uh, dark i tried this as a concealer and i also hated it the way that i found it to work is to conceal my under brow but not under my eye it creased so badly but what i love is that it's just so cute and portable and it has lots of color selections in it so depending on how light or dark i want the under eyebrow highlight to be i can just mix and use it so i use this every single day and what i have found is that you need to leave it a little bit and let it dry just a smidge and then blend it in and what's cute about it is that it comes with a mirror so why not hello i'd be forgetting to get up and just zoom in the camera lens so if you'd like this zoomed in situation please comment and let me know so that i can continue to do it if you don't comment girl i'm gonna be doing my makeup from far away and you gotta use a magnifying glass to see how things come out all right so let me tell you about this collection it's a four-piece collection and all of it together is 32 dollars in partnership with the elf community and it's inspired by the beauty of new orleans which is where they held their beauty escape last year the first thing i'm going to use is this modern metals 10 piece eyeshadow palette and this alone is 12 dollars what i want to know if there's going to be a good transition color in here for me i think the transition color is going to be this one i just took some and look there is fallout i mean the palette is 12 dollars, so what do you expect it's elf elf stuff usually has fallout but you know just tap off the excess and then let's just use it and see how it comes out 
Oh, this is pretty. Okay, I like this. This gives me the reddish brown that I like without me having to use two different colors. This is just the reddish brown, like all together. It's blending pretty well. I'm not seeing any issue with that. Ooh, the green and gold, it's really pretty. That's a really pretty swatch of the green and the gold. Here's a problem. I always get so overwhelmed. I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna need to use this another time because I wanna use as many colors as I can. Okay, ooh, there's also this yellow. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm wearing yellow today. Hold up. Hold up. I'm gonna take some purple right here in the corner. It's subtle. There's a lot of fallout, so make sure you tap off the excess. I mean, tapping off the excess though should be common practice for you. You don't do that just for cheap palettes. You do that for every palette because you don't want to be thinking, oh, there shouldn't be a problem. And next you know you have fallout and your, your, your makeup's all messed up. This is that green color that I used at first. I'm going to place that right here in the middle to just ombre it a little bit. Ooh, it looks pretty. It's almost kind of silvery, yellow, green, beautiful. Ooh, I want to do this again and put this green all over my lid. This is so cute. Bomb, diggy, diggy, diggy. Bomb, diggy, diggy, diggy. Now I'm going to move on to the yellow. I could put white right here to get the yellow to pop, but then because of the purple and the green, I don't want the yellow to be too much, so I'm not going to put white down. Took some yellow, dust off the excess, and place it down. And it's very mustard. I think that wasn't a good idea because this yellow is matte. So with the green, it looks weird. <laughs> My choice of eye look is what killed the whole thing. Cause the eyeshadows are good. It's just the choice that I, see, I can't stand that. I be getting overzealous. I should have just stuck with one or two colors. I'm over here trying to do the most, which is so inappropriate. The eyeshadows are great. I'm just doing a lot right now. All right, I'm gonna salvage this look because it is just way too cute for me to just let go by the wayside. I'm gonna take the gold that is right here and just put it over the yellow. Oh, wow. Do you see that? Wow. This gold is off the chain. I'm going to go over the green. Girl, I'm using almost every color in this palette today. Yeah, I'm going to just go over the green. And then you know what? I'll take some green to just mix into it. Oh, this is a look. This is a testament to show you that if you're doing your face and it starts looking real sketchy, take some colors and mix them in, boo-boo. And you gotta look so now moving on to under my eye i use wispy lashes for my eyelashes these are very used so when they're used they do look a little bit different from when they're fresh out the box but these are wispy lashes now under my eye i'm going to use this nyx eyeshadow base it's white when you put a white base of any kind on your eye first this makes the eyeshadow bright so put some white down and then put your eyeshadow color on and it'll look a lot more pronounced watch. This is the purple that's in the palette. And now in the tear duct, which you know is very important, I'm gonna take the lightest color in here, which is way over here in the corner, tap off the excess on that and put that right here in my tear duct. Wow, I was not expecting that to be so frosty. Ooh, this is my newest favorite tear duct color. I OD'd on that. That's a fact. Okay, moving on. This is the blush and highlighter palette that's also in the collection. On its own, this is $12 as well. It comes with three highlighters and three blushes. So let's just check these out. Okay, always dust off the excess. Ooh, wow, wow, wait, whoa. This is so amazing, wow. Wow, this color is so pretty. Tap off the excess, this one's pretty. Now for the lip, we have this beautiful liquid matte lipstick. This color is off of the chain, okay? There's no name to it. A universally flattering terracotta nude that looks incredible on everybody. Ooh, I can't wait, it's vitamin E enriched. Absolutely love the applicator. I am loving this. Now it does come with this bomb glittery gloss to go on top which has another bomb applicator, but I like how this looks and I don't want to ruin it. Let me dry it. Now it's a look. Girl, if it's not already obvious, I absolutely love this collection. If you haven't already gotten it, I encourage you to get it. If you have, tell me which are your favorite pieces of the collection. What colors are you living for? If you don't already have it, do you plan on getting it? Let me know, girl. Comment and let me know. I'm gonna link the products that I used in the box down below. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram. And if you wanna see more looks and reviews, then just comment and let your girl know. As always, let's give God the glory, the honor, and the praise in the name of our Christ Jesus we pray. Amen. Bye.